Hello guys. Yes, it's me. I'm forcing people to watch this now. We were originally going to play a demo of something, but hey. We'll try maybe that tomorrow or another day. It's not my fault Mech doesn't believe in the holiness of Mushroom Man. Every time Fable finds a meme, he just sticks to it and I don't know what else to say. It's how my brain works. Um, dog came in, ran around, and then left. I don't know how to feel right now. Uh, dogs do that, Fable. You know, you should know this by now. Yeah. The pink sauce lady is still trying to say she got scammed by the company. Oh, of course she is. She's stupid. I feel like I'm going to need this. Where, where, it's not happening. No, I, I know I said it. There we go. Anyway. These shake legs. Get a move. Not showing speed. Oh, wait, I'm not showing cable this. Get ready, Fable, for the worst yeah. night of your life. Shake a leg. Get a move on. The night mushroom man dies. No. Well, apparently a man just stole another man's leg. That's normal. What are you talking about? It's normal because you're Faye and I'm not. A few weeks ago, a game called Hunt Down the Freeman was released. To put it bluntly, it's abysmal. There are feature-length videos talking about how bad it is. Yeah. On top of that, it was using assets that appeared to be stolen from other games and mods. Which is I saw insane. some people calling this the biggest scam in gaming, but I remembered a story very similar to this one, and not too long ago, actually. Yeah, see? Imagine it's a game that stole at least ten times as much stuff but got a physical release. That's so insane. It's, it's actually right here on my desk. <laughs> She's wearing really clothes. Enjoyable. I was immersed within the first few minutes. Well. I've never heard of any of these websites. But I do agree that it is a highly enjoyable game. Hmm. As you can tell from the title, this isn't just going to be a review this time. Okay. It's going to be a little different. So in the spirit of Hunt Down the Freeman, I'd like to share a game that's so bad it's good, but also so much more. If Are you ready, Fable? Oh, he's muted. I guess Fable is dead now. I am dead. Got a mm -hmm. lot to cover, so let's get started. Let's get started, Fable. I went to Zombie Apocalypse San, in, um, San Diego, which is just normal San Diego. I, I, um, anyway, into I, the void. Am I wrong? <laughs> am I wrong this is maybe though. the best advice we'll get in the whole game. Oh. When you start it up, you get a cutscene of someone falling through fire. And it's from the movie Spawn. Well, I... It off. I mean, they li literally took this scene from the movie Spawn, and they just made it their intro. Oh my god. How, it, it, that can't be legal in any sort of way. What the hell? The only thing different they did was putting a border around it. Yeah, holy sh... What the... And the border itself? Taken from a World of Warcraft wallpaper. The wow! And there are already two lost... That is blatant. ...suits waiting to happen. This came out in 2008. This wasn't, you know, Wild West Internet. I'm not going to play the whole intro, mm. but there are only three people listed in the credits, and that's probably why. Also, I have yeah. no clue what anyone's saying or what's happening. Give a listen to the audio mixing. What? What the hell? I can't hear him because the music's too loud. This will come up again later, but even if you could hear them, it wouldn't make a difference. Finally, we mm. get to the prologue, featuring a vaguely adjusted Battle for Middle Earth loading screen. Then, it begins. What the hell? Uh, okay. Hmm? Ah, so you are well. What the hell? No, no, no. Do not be fearful of me. I am to help, not to hurt. I am. Uh, where do you even start with something like this? I this? don't know. Well, first where do of all, we start? the style of cutscene may be familiar to some people. I couldn't understand what it was until later. It's a spiritual successor to the CDI Zelda cutscene. Wait, it what? has all the ingredients. Oh boy! I'm so hungry! I, I don't know what's going on. Actually. Uh, basically, the best way to describe what's happening right now, Fable, is 
It's a game that apparently stole a lot of assets and is bad in and has bad cutscenes. your backstory or why you're there, but he tells you to stay away from the dark ones. Well, I guess he tells the main character oh. Briggs because you, the player, are a character. What? What the hell? When you finally get to playing, it seems like any typical adventure game. Limbo the Lost is entirely in 2D, which is awkward. At first, the Briggs model just seems out of place compared to everything else. What the hell? It's but everything's 3D. Know how to handle him. Oh. A lot of the backgrounds look jagged and awful, and in theory, this could be fixed with anti-aliasing. I tried setting it up to maximum, and as far as I can tell, it doesn't do anything. Oh, wow. All right, like I just said, this is a 2D game, so that's a screenshot. Why well, have the option? What the fuck? incredible. Wow. What the hell? It's a small squ It's a little square. Fable? Yeah? Will you continue Sometimes on? Character sprites will double over each other in different positions. Uh, the art probably style not, will change to be every honest. room. Basically, the visuals are a mess on a technical and artistic level. Too bad, you have to. Games to explore aesthetically pleasing worlds, Only for Mushroom Man. Oh my god. Keeps entertained by being half freak show and half scavenger hunt. Oh. For example, the first room you're in. It's the one from Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Wow. The entire beginning That's... of the game is. I'm not going to show all of it because it would take forever. So they just stole the first level and... Wow, that's that's more than just a little blatant. What the hell? I don't think this is legal, Fable. I don't think so either. Fable, don't eat, talk with your mouth full. Um, 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 um. Don't do that against the mic. I smack um, out um, your um, second um, bowl of mashed potatoes. Um, um, um. Yeah, I don't think it's legal either, to be honest. Um, nom, Just nom, seeing nom, what's nom. stolen is fun, but there's so much more. Oh my god. For example, here's going up a set of stairs. Okay. What the hell? This is really bad. It's never explained, made, it just honestly. happens. Yes, That's it the is. Story for this game. Things happen. Oh. Oh, I think it's I an adventure game. What? <laughs> That's not a oh. joke. The character's name is Cranny Faggot, and we're still in the prologue. Go what the fuck? Black Hawk trust oh no one. Yes, oh my. Hawk what the hell? Birds. I hope you can understand why this is beyond the regular video format. This is going to be a house tour slash history lesson of an insane asylum. I'm not going to show all the good parts, but I'm going to break some things down, show some stolen stuff, and show how it doesn't work. If you've seen some of my other videos, what you'll know that I'm no stranger to sound issues in games. Yeah. Oh, one of the last has a unique one that I haven't seen anywhere else. Okay. No audio options. Not even volume control. Wow. I can just lower it in the volume mixer. This works for a little bit. Whoa, what happened? The sound level just jumped back up. Whenever Why? Whenever you change a room, your volume spikes back up to your default. I've never seen something like this. I can only guess it's running some kind of check every time it loads a new room and then sets your audio up. I guess it just resets everything every time you load. Shh. <laughs> the big technical issue is that the, the game is prone to crashing. It seems to be random, but right here, I can swear that Briggs crashes the game. Huh? Well, there's your port report, PC Master Ace. Luckily, uh. you can load from the splash screen, or anywhere else in the game. If the conversation is going too long, and you're worried about crashing. You could just pause the game and save in the middle of it. Wow. But crashing isn't as big of a deal as it should be. By the way, check out the menu. The unpause button hell? being back to hell is pretty funny. Mm. But look at the gargoyle. I won't run out of these anytime soon. Wow! Really? From Beetlejuice? Oh my god. It's good that the technical issues are for the most part weird and not game destroying. Well then. Having a so bad it's good game is much harder than a so bad it's good movie. I mean, if yeah. In the room, you just pop it in and watch Tommy do his thing. <laughs> this is why good bad games are hard to find. A bad game is like having Tommy Wiseau make the movie, but also the DVD it's carried on mm. in the DVD player. I've yeah, screwed up bad games so, that are so bad it's good are usually they have to be functional and not constantly screw up. I've seen some people say that Hunt Down the Freeman is a so bad it's good game, but it's really not. If you're spending more time lost or feeling frustrated than laughing at the works of a madman, it's just not a good bad game. Yeah. I don't think games that are designed to be broken like Goat Simulator should count for the category, but I'm not the expert. There's just something mm. special about seeing someone's different brain working at full capacity on a passion. It's 
it's, uh, it's like, how did you make this and why did you make this? And no Which? one's really sure. It's like hearing Fable constantly talk about Mushroom Man for no reason. Mushroom Man. Also, apparently they're making a whole book about another Children of the Emperor from the Black Library. Oh, uh, is right. it, um... It's Eldoran or something. Eldoran. Is, is it just gonna be about, like, the corruption, or are we getting something interesting? It's about his tainted legacy in the Black Library, so, is what it said. Uh, so nothing interesting. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway. Okay. Uh, if anyone awesome. actually enjoys the Emperor's Children, that's fine. I just, I just think that what they become is nothing short of depressing. So, pretty much. Yeah, that's sorry. How I feel about them. Uh, sorry that offends you. I just don't like them. We like them all part too. We liked them before they were corrupted. Our development since yeah. the early '90s, so nearly 20 years went into this. So the fact that it's functional and relatively hassle-free in a modern system is a blessing. So now I'm going to show you how the game is played. Much the interface is very simple. You oh can right-click anywhere in the game world to open up a Ouija board. Oh, so okay. Object, you can sense it, look at it, take it, or perform an action take. on it. In reality, you'll only be using three of these and not sense because it's oh. useless. It's oh, your sense okay. of smell, but most things in the game you can't smell. Oh. Sense? 99% of objects in the game will say that. When it comes to inventory, you just mouse to the top of the screen to access it. And you well. can use your actions on these items as well. For example, if you have a letter, you could use the look command and then read it. Wait a minute. What? Well, I guess Cranny Faggot likes to drop of the hard stuff, but the menu. Mm -hmm. Ah. Oh. If you see anything that I missed. And Dear lord, there's so much anyway, so just the blatant the stealing. Menus. You won't get all the letters until about the oh, last dear. 10 seconds of the game. So many losses. Oh, it's move around as well. You don't it's not legal at all, I believe. Just stealing things from other video games. Use keyboard for any of this. The controls yeah, that, are that fine, the really UI illegal. is passable, Stealing except assets? there's two flaws. Jesus that compass yeah. is always spinning. You might be saying, so what? It's spinning around. Well, just wait. When the levels will start turning into a maze, this is going to get into your head. To give it credit, it will stop moving when you mouse over an exit, but it mm -hmm. might not always stop in the exact right place. Like right here, it stops moving for a moment, but I click there and I can't move off it. So, nope, that didn't do it. Oh my god. Usually for your multiple. Finally, there we go. Hmm, interesting piece. I saw those skulls mm. just everywhere. Well, once again, oh, wow. it's more Diablo. Oh. The shield of all things. So they're just placing a Diablo shield skull everywhere. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. Naturally, you expect bad adventure game logic for the puzzles. And don't worry, those are there. It oh boy, bad adventure game logic. Do you know what that's called, Fable? There's an actual term for it. Really? What's the term? Moon logic. Oh boy. Yes, oh boy. Moon logic. Oh boy. They're into crazy person logic. So now I'm going to go through the game chapter by chapter and show things I thought were interesting. Not all of them in case you want to play it yourself, but enough to give you an idea of what to expect. Oh, I say, we have a visitor. What the hell? How lovely. Ugh. Oh, what the? Oh, sorry. I forgot. What? Hang on. Do not be afraid. What? Okay. Dungeon Master. The prologue is brief, but it serves as a perfect introduction to the game. Your main goal is to steal a key from a jailer known as Grunger, or Grunger, depending on who you're talking to, and escape the level. To get the key, you need to make a sleeping potion and knock him out and snatch it from his neck, except he's already asleep. Huh? Huh. What's interesting is how they were able to weave the stolen backgrounds together into something consistent. Like I said oh. before, the very beginning is from Wolfenstein, but the later parts of the prologue are from a different game, an Xbox hack and slash called Enclave, or Enclave depending on where you're from. This Enclave. is what you would go out and rent before the Souls games were invented. Back in the oh. day we just called it Swede Souls, you know, because Ugh. Starbreeze is Swedish. <laughs> That's Man, kind of cool. Of good stuff. Oh, War Anyhow, of Monsters. I, I remember War of something. Monsters. That was a pretty good kaiju game, I won't lie games to find the locations. A lot of the Limbo of the Lost backgrounds are really zoomed oh. in or have the colors adjusted, but it's not enough to hide it, especially if someone's looking for it. The, the amount of effort just to steal from so many different levels, it's like they could have just made their own. However, Enclave is integrated into the game a little bit differently than the others in one area. In the prologue, you meet a trapped character who's hanging in a suspended cage and he okay. doesn't shut up. 
It's a joke that goes on way too long, but I like the skeleton in the background. You need to collapse the cage mm -hmm. so you can grab his arm and then throw it into the sleeping potion you're making. Wow. You go to the room above the cages and see the two ropes suspending them. There's a huge lever in the room, but it does nothing when you try to action it. Plus, I can see that these ropes are attached to a gate. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. I found the same room in Enclave. It did oh. try to hide this a little bit more by flipping the screen around. Good hustle. So you mm. pull the lever and it raises the gate. The one you can clearly see. In Limbo of the Lost, you have to be Captain Kleptomaniac to put together a torch and then burn down the rope. Wow. What the hell? Meanwhile, no. For some reason, he said, this is terra firma. I... I heard that just at the very end. I don't know why he said that, but, uh, okay. You can't slash the ropes. Maybe they thought that the puzzles Aww. were too similar, so made their own torch puzzle to differentiate from it. Mm. But in that case, why leave the lever there? Did they not have anybody who could Photoshop it out? I haven't gotten yeah. there yet, but it's not even the most blatant plagiarism. Okay. Not even close. So what came first, the torch or the lever? Was the puzzle based around a stolen level, or did the puzzle come first and they just made the level fit into it somehow? Well, uh. I think I have the answer. Remember when I said it was in development for nearly 20 years? Well, this they released a demo in 1995 for the Amiga 20 years for this. Amiga 32. The 80th what? issue of the Amiga Computing Magazine only had some images of it. But the 11th issue of a magazine called Amiga CD32 Gamer had a demo. As far as I can tell, issue 11 has lost the time. But wow. the demo isn't. Time to fire up the emulator. What a stink. And before you say it, it isn't me. This is for the Amiga Fable. Oh my goodness. Man, gaming used to be so much better back in the day. Look at reality. Surrender to your darkest dream. They kept the same line. Oh. Looks slightly different though. Well, a lot different, but you know. Wow, it'll have hordes of monsters. I've got to admit, this game looks a lot nicer than the one they released. Scott, try logic. The Amiga version is actually more of a pain because you have to cycle through more options with the mouse by right-clicking. What makes it unbearable is if you mm. don't do something for seven seconds, he stops the game. Wow. Hello. This is also a time demo, so I don't want to have to keep restarting it. It's really reminding me of CDI Zelda now. But what if I you know it, it's why. the exact same first puzzle. Grabbing the torch, combining it with the human fat, and lighting it in the cauldron. The exact okay, same thing. Nah. This brew's designed to chew, not spew. What? what? This demo is going to have some more importance, but I'm going to put it aside for now. The demo okay. proves that, on some level, there was an original game being made. So it wasn't a complete sham of grabbing things from other games and designing it around that. That uh. being said, there are stolen elements that are just lazy. For example, all the signs are using a Lord of the Rings font. Why not use a font that doesn't need a license? Yeah, that's, that's weird. Why use one that needs a license? Like our original are genuinely bizarre and funny. <gasps> what the... So how bad do the puzzles get? The sleep potion isn't that far-fetched, except you also need the Jailer's snot to complete it. Plus, you get your first taste of crazy person logic. Cranny's potion calls for liquor, so you'd think you could find some liquor somewhere, mm. but you can't. You fill a jar with water, combine it with a worm, and then you have tequila. What? That's dumb, but only a taste of what's to come. I'm back from the sewer water. Here's your booze, Madam Faggot. You wake up oh. the Jailer to give him the potion that puts him back to sleep and then grab his key. That's You're done. stupid as hell. Thumbs up. Mm. My favorite. <laughs> what the hell? Chapter complete. The tutorial. The I'd tutorial. usually be in the middle by now, but everything's all messed up in this video. And so begins chapter uh, one. Are you ready for more fable? Sure. I, young man, I'm, uh... am the keeper of lost souls. You have done well to get this far. What is this place? To some, this is home. Mm -hmm. To others, it is a halfway house okay. between their world and the next. This is the keep of lost souls. You just said so that. Tell me, am I dead? What the hell? <gasps> what the? Yeah. Let me give you this. Sorry about that. Don't know what came over me. What was the point of that? I don't know. I'm so 
very confused, but uh, okay. Get off to an excellent start. This is when the levels start to open up and the true madness begins. There are a bunch of coffins you can grab mm. items from, but several of them are red herrings and they don't do anything. Okay. There are also three items, two of which you need to complete stuff, but you can only hold one at a time. One gift to rule them all. Some of the investigating is odd and lacks visual cues. I use take on an empty eye socket and I get a glass eye out of it. Why not just have an eyeball there? Chapter yeah. one's beginning is all about teaching you not to trust what you can see. Like crossing this bridge that oh. has rotting planks that are breaking apart. All the items I collected oh, no. didn't help me out, but here's the answer. Uh, the, uh, to the entrance uh, of the, the character you sent me, that one's one of the worst one. Which character? Oh, oh, the, oh uh, that one. That's one yeah, of the it's one of those loser um, ch uh, emperor's children. That's not. Yeah. Level and pick up an entire coffin lid. Now you could use it on the bridge to cross. Hmm. That doesn't look safe to me. You're use it on an entire coffin lid for a single rotting bridge. Perspective really gets thrown off in this level. Not long yeah. after you find what looks like a satanic dog bowl. What? Fluffy. Oh, don't tell me. I was really expecting the dog from Harry Potter. Or maybe the model from the game. Yeah. Hey, are you asleep? Why would you ask Oh that? my god, they did it. What? Alright, I, I see it. Now we see it. And stop. Actually, they are three separate dogs, so it's not a complete ripoff. But then why only show one dog bowl in the cutscene? The world may never know. Keep mm, the dogs probably because they didn't want to take the time the to make three. Every bone you put in, a gate opens up. This room is a three-door hub to the rest of the level, so ideally you want all the doors open at once. The only place you can get a bone is from the first room, uh, and you can only carry one at a time. Oh my it's god. It's a trek each way, and there's no special event or challenge, it's just to waste your time. As for the level itself, it's interesting that it's not only plagiarizing, but also recycling plagiarized material. It's mainly painkiller, the catacomb level to be exact. All they did here was mm. slightly angle the screenshots they took, and sometimes slap some signs around. Dead man's drop, dead man's curve, uh. dead man's gorge. I wish I was dead. Dear God, all they're doing is doing the same thing, but getting a different I name. I wouldn't call it a maze because there's only so many directions you can go, but it is annoying. Like any average adventure game, some stuff you can figure out on your own, but others are just deranged. Oh, thank you, Black Hole. But really, there's no need. What the hell? No buts. Now, go. Do you know what? Every gift tells a story. What the fuck does that mean? I I don't know. What is he on about? What? what I, I guess that's supposed to be a joke, but what the hell? I would be really excited to see Briggs in the new Smash. <laughs> well, there are more elaborate puzzles to choose from. There's a really simple one that shows madman logic, or maybe okay. four-year-old logic. Eventually, you'll need a soul of a warrior to get past a statue that's drunk and sounds like a predator. Okay. You need to switch the real green soul bottle with a decoy that you make yourself. So you fill up an identical-looking bottle with water. That's a good okay. start. Okay. But what do you mix it with? You use a bag of saffron. What? Now, saffron spice is typically more red-colored. The color saffron is named after the tips of the flowers that make the spice. So okay. assuming it is a bag of this spice, it'd be more red-colored, but we can pretend that it's all golden saffron tips. So you combine the yellow saffron with the water, and you get green what because water is blue and saffron is yellow and blue plus yellow equals green that's stupid water isn't paint at least not in my part of the country <laughs> that's stupid i Ugh. i'm dying fable i'm dying remember me i will try what do you mean you'll try the first level also has the I'll first try. three hidden items you can only see it if you aim for the left of the stairwell here. I it's wanna go home, says Karst. Rest assured, each one of these will be worse than the last. Oh boy. Let why? I don't know why, Karst. Uh, 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 uh. What? Yeah. You must take in exchange for gift. What? I think that's enough of chapter one. What? Yeah, I think I've had enough of chapter one, honestly. A different use of free time is multiple like good, but straight up just ripping stuff. Yeah, like before, it's good to have inspiration, but uh, this is uh, sewers. What's really incredible is how little you learn by talking to so many people. We're now two chapters in, and we only know that we're a chosen one and that we're stuck in limbo. 
Oh, Story wonderful. Offers just about zero intrigue. Like anything so bad that's good, you just keep playing to see what happens. It still might be best to play this game in bursts. The ambient audio never stops looping, but this one sound bite is the worst. It's roughly every two minutes. It's also a stolen sound effect from the Hammer Haunts and Thief. What the hell? The sewer slash swamp. Stolen sound from Hammer Haunts and Thief. I don't know what that is. It has but the I... most plagiarized things I could recognize without looking stuff up. The first screen, once you pass into the sewer, is from Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Most of the gross sewers seems to be the Hollywood sewers. There's an entire room filled with Morrowind items. There's a set of orcish armor and a bunch of weapon models they just retextured. This won't be the last Oh, wow. That, uh... He really wasn't kidding with how much just stolen assets there are here. Games. Not even close. There's also this Greek helmet in the corner I thought was from Google Images. After looking around, it turned out to be the Dusk Deep helm from Diablo 2. Incredibly, I don't think this is the most blatant plagiarism in the game yet. That won't be until next chapter. Chapter 2 does have one of my favorite stolen assets, the flute. Not the instrument itself, but the song. Okay. Okay, so it's Indiana Jones. Jones so yeah. What? Well, it's more than you think. Hmm? They did oh my god, they just stole it from another they game. They whistle to tune themselves, but instead took an Easter egg from Sirius Sam. What the hell? That is impressive. They couldn't even just do it themselves? The game, it's very similar to Chapter 1. Once again, there are three main doors, except this time you can only open one at a time. Innovative. The puzzles themselves are becoming more cruel, oh. both narratively and mechanically. My stomach doesn't feel so great. Do you see so the great. important item in this room? It's not this panel, not this jar, not the glowing picture on the wall. It's a piece of wood on the back desk. What? You can only click on about two pixels of it, so you can mouse right over it. Oh and my god. It. This is the second worst hidden object in the game. As for narrative, at one point Briggs sneaks up on an old man and then puts an iron bear trap over his eyes. What the that fuck? seems a bit excessive, so why would he do that? To take his pen and ink. Reality is slipping. What the fuck? Oh, neat. Thor's Clear hammer. off. What the fuck? Why do you just have Thor's hammer? Oh, dear. Uh, okay. Somewhere in the Logic sewer. Logic is running on empty in chapter two. What the hell? So now we're going to move on to the only real What is this, a pinball world? The game. Chapter three. Why is the music double overlaying? Dark mirror. He's very, mm. very worried about you, and I mean, he'll be worried about you. What the fuck? Being worried about your friend, being worried about you, being worried about this, and I want you to take it so I don't have to worry no more. What the hell? Fable, are you still alive? Yeah. How? I don't know. Thank you, but who? Oh! <gasps> what the hell? Wow, these models are getting worse. Her audio is way better than the main characters. Huh. What? Dark Mirror is the first time you can learn more we about- We found out that the level of madness the career was in during the end. Where you Maybe. Are. It's refreshing. After doing random tasks with very little story drive, it's nice to have some narrative. Briggs has been accused of being a monster called the Soul Taker. You're okay. imprisoned in a very familiar looking cell, but it's not for long. You find your way out. Okay, where is it from? Why are they double overing the sound of it hit- of metal clanking against metal? Good question. Oh my god. The mayor appoints his detectives and I need to interview people, gather clues, and find the real soul taker. We even have a little L.A. Noir clue book. Oh, wonderful. Why is the snow not cold? What? That's a good start. And so begins the most unbelievable plagiarism in the game. Okay. You uh. cannot be serious. Nearly every single interior is ripped out of oblivion. Wow. 
They copy floor plans entirely. That's the Shimmering Isles expansion had come out just a year before. This could have been on the same shelf as Oblivion. People were actively playing this game. How could they think no one would notice? Because it's they're mind idiots. Blowing. There's no other way to put it. Out of all the things that people might miss, you took entire levels from a popular AAA game that was still on shelves. Yeah. Even then, they still managed to screw up the background. I still play modded Oblivion from time to time, so I could go right down to the first edition bookstore. Here he is behind the counter, and here's the back okay. view. Oh. Enter the building from the wrong side. Okay. The register facing the clerk, the books facing outwards, it's all mixed up. They couldn't oh. even get the chair completely out of the shot. This feels like having an out-of-body experience. <laughs> the fact that yeah, living I human beings thought they could do this and make money off of it without getting in trouble is mind-boggling. I don't understand why they did any of this at all. The game doesn't seem that great. They just took screenshots and other designs from different games. The game doesn't seem that fun. So I don't know what the reason is for all this. Now would be a good time to bring up the fire. Since they just screenshotted the level, they needed animated torches. All the fire in the game uses fire.gif. They downloaded yeah, the fire.gif, right. put it on the Oblivion screenshot, level completed. It sounds wasn't about right. the first time in the game they took Oblivion assets, but uh. Dark Mirror is chock full of them. It's unreal. Literally unreal. Unreal what? turned in 2004. Oh my god! In editing user maps. So they took all these measures to change the map from some map maker, but not the major Dear studio Lord. game owned by ZeniMax. Oh my. <laughs> Dear Lord. Okay, stop with the coughing. <laughs> I can never return to first edition. So, what is there to see in Cyrodiil? There are several <laughs> oh, interesting in Cyrodiil. characters. You might not be able to talk to them for long, but what's there is really good. Much like the real Oblivion, however, it's held back by the amount of voice mm. actors they had. Much of Dark Mirror's population is voiced by one guy pitching his voice up and down or making funny voices. Ah. It seems we've done you a great injustice, my good fellow. I Your wonder. Your friend and trusted advisor, Onega, is here. It's uh, kind of clear. It's Mr. Not Miss. Uh, what? You can't be my sister. What the I hell? I haven't even got a sister. Mister, I'm a man. Uh, for an age, it seems that this has been going Oh my god, it's that squeaky voice. Souls taken. There are two actors with better equipment, but they have their own issues. Sometimes oh. you get a click of someone starting to record it in the background. My pleasure, Mr. Detective. Now, you sure nothing takes your fancy before you go? Detective, uh, I say, detective, we found another one. Can you hear me? Well, well uh, at least he died peacefully. <laughs> died peacefully. Mon Dieu, s'il vous plaît, monsieur. She sounds okay. Two words within this oh, place. never mind. Shadows may seek even this place. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is this game? Hey, what the hell was that? Her chance at least. What? Detective what? Briggs is a mix of both the best and the worst the game has to offer. Exploring the town and finding clues are more engaging than all the other chapters, at least until you hit a wall. Unlike mm. the previous levels, Dark Mirror is expansive. They even give you a map that lets you teleport around town it's so big. Now this is great for a while, but then the game starts trying to trick you. When okay. you and the deputy find another victim of the Soul Taker, sometimes you'll automatically pick up his items. This saves hassle at first, but it doesn't always work this way. Sometimes a cutscene will end. Oh no, Fable has abandoned me. You, you can't area. abandon me here, Fable. But you don't want to leave. You want to go back. Okay. There are items being left behind that don't show up in the previous screen, so you always want to double check. Wow. Here, I can see the key on the floor, but the game has me walk right past it, and I have to go back and get it. If I wasn't paying attention, I could have been screwed from that. Yes, and had to look I, all over I town have to find the right item. Like the stolen level design that's not touched up makes you harder. Stop smacking my mashed potatoes on the ground. Listen, if I have to suffer through this game, so do you. It should be. That light really is an exit. I'll suffer. Just don't here, smack my like mashed one, potatoes on the ground. Through. This Frankenstein oh of God. a game isn't even stitched up right. Sometimes okay. an area that had nothing might have items appear there later. Keep checking. Wonderful. The if something's not crossed off, you have to go back later. 
I can oh follow boy. the plot up until Briggs is hiding in a stable with some terrifying horses. So Ugh. he scopes out and he's like hiding in the corner and these characters walk in and then one says horses for courses. I've what? seen this a few times now and I have no idea what this means, but it's the key. That's what the creature was trying to tell me. You mean this guy? What the hell? There was only one point when I was really stuck, and it's a nightmare. Okay. At some point when you leave first edition books, you get hit with a snowball. Whoa. What the f- The note says there's more than one way in, and I'm glad the game points it out. I'm serious, there's so many typos and spelling errors that you might think differently. Yeah, uh, I would too. End, I don't see any secret passage My puppy has shown up to comfort me in these trying Maybe times. The note meant there's another way to go inside the inn from somewhere outside. So I explore the no, areas around puppy, the inn. No, do not comfort him. He just keeps smashing my mashed potato. She says, Blair to you. Blair, Fable. Find we must put her in puppy so jail. No, she's the not going in puppy jail. First, How you dare have to go you? behind the bar to a very exact spot in the corner. Oh, then you what must the? run for a magic pixel. Oh, the great, the magic up, pixel. Your changes shape for about half a second. You have to be standing in the right place, so I have to keep waving around to do it right. Up, oh, nope, there we go. Now you're in I a hate magic oblivion dungeon. What? That, by far, is the biggest blocker in the game. Now I can just grab these Baldur's Gate cloaks and be done with it. When I finally found the big piece of evidence, I nearly had a stroke. I'm gonna uh -huh. leave that as a surprise. You have what do you mean? Evidence, Briggs brings it to the A surprise. Not since a time to kill has there been a speech quite like this one. He's trying to reach a word count. No. Oh. This is an evil, greedy, corrupt society. What the hell? Plus up the wealth and power means that they will stop at nothing to get what they want. What the hell is the he on? of the very actually named Inner Sins. A fine upstanding people, ladies and gentlemen. What the hell is he going on about? Which you know and recognize. I timed it. This goes on for 7 minutes and 45 seconds, and you cannot skip it. It actually sounds like an essay being read aloud. He Wonderful. Out every piece of evidence you found. I could feel myself being pulled into the void when suddenly one of the greatest cutscenes in video games begins. Ladies and gentlemen, I okay. give you your soul taker. Oh. Did he just, like, rip him off like a mask? Okay. I, I guess that works. I'm so very confused, but, um... Okay. That happened. I'm just gonna put this on my face and yeah. Yeah, that'll make this more tolerable. Absolute. Fun. I'm uh. It's never explained what he did. It's great. So it's time to move to the fourth chapter after the troll removes all of our items. Wonderful. <laughs> what the hell? Who do you think you are throwing your weight around like this? Why would you talk? That looks like a Lord of the Rings the troll. Chapter 4 sucks. <laughs> Not in a funny way, it just drags out too little for way too long. As far as I know, this map is made entirely from Unreal maps. Way too few. This oh. is a case study in how not to pad out your adventure game. It has a Wonderful. map similar to Darkmere, albeit much smaller. All of the numbered tower locations are completely identical, except some have items. Wow. Tower 1 and 2 have nothing. A complete waste of time. Tower 3's only item is right outside the train. There's no reason to explore the rest. So there's not a lot to see, but the game knows it. There are two mm -hmm. objects that really stick out, but you can't interact with them at all. You have to okay. do other minor tasks, and then they show up and you can pick them up. I don't know why this bothers me so much. Possibly because it was something I expected, but it didn't happen until now. You'll I mean, it can be very annoying just with the all, all the problems, and when you're expecting, you think, oh, maybe it doesn't have it, but it does. The good things about it are the cutscenes. There's only a few of them. You can beat it all in ten minutes. So now's a good time to talk about background stuff before the final chapter. Oh my god, the whole country's a circle. I am Eddie, and Benjamin Spooner Briggs, Captain Spooner Briggs, Benjamin Spooner Briggs. Captain he likes to say his name, doesn't Mary he? Celeste. I like Briggs as a character because he's a goofball, but you don't learn a lot about him. You can learn some things from the bonus disc. It's what? A There's a bonus disc added to this? Why? It's an enlightening piece uh. of media. 
for starters, it has an entire intro cutscene that's not in the game. Why? You're just thrown into it all for <laughs> context. This was supposed to be in front of it. Why it's not actually in the game, I have no idea. It has an intro, credits, titles pop up, and it's way more elaborate than the one the game has. Then I can why not? It down is another mystery. Anyways, the weird vampires in the intro are brothers named Destiny and Fate. But aren't those the same thing? Uh. I guess Destiny usually has more positive connotation than Fate, but still. Anyhow, Briggs gets lost in the Bermuda Triangle. It has some live action footage that people debate over the source of, but they definitely uh, didn't make it. Yeah, they definitely did. It explains didn't. that Briggs is on an island and his actions will determine the future of mankind. Those are higher stakes than what the intro implied. Wait, that's the Crisis demo. Maybe they scrapped <laughs> it because they knew they weren't allowed to use that. It's still incredibly vague, but better than what the game came with. It even shows why Briggs is flying through the big hell portal from spawn. Okay. So Briggs is still a goofball and this doesn't change that. But here's where it gets strange. Captain Benjamin Spooner Briggs was a real man. His ship ah, that's uh. The let's hear this. Was also real and was found derelict a few days after this game takes place. Okay. Briggs and his crew were never seen again. This game is the final legacy of a real God-fearing sea captain. All right, let's hear it. How crazy is this gonna get? Grab your Chicago style and get on J Store. It's time to learn. Ready to learn history fable? I guess. Question mark. Okay. Limbo of the Lost was a book originally published in 1969. It okay. got republished in the 70s as Limbo of the Lost, Actual Stories of Sea Mysteries. There were uh, several okay. articles and a few books talking about the Bermuda Triangle before this one, but this helped popularize it. Yeah, that makes sense. The Bermuda Triangle has just some weird phenomenons that always go on there. The real course of the ship was nowhere near the Triangle, but here's where things get a little tricky. Ah. So I went to my buddy Tex from the Black Pants Legion. He's done historical work specializing in maritime history, so he'd cool. be perfect. At this point, I knew that the real Mary Celeste was one of those weird sea mysteries. It was found derelict near Portugal with no crew, all the cargo intact, but a missing lifeboat. Wait, all near Portugal? Some of the sails and rigging were damaged, but that was about it. Hmm. Now here's where things get complicated. Sir Arthur so Doyle, the guy who Uh, the crew disappeared, no one knows why, but, uh, the it's ship... It's a ship. Yeah, basically, we don't... Yeah, those are usually ships that we can sometimes find just still sailing without any crew or any information as to how the hell they go and miss it. Yeah, I guess you're right on that. Holmes had a short story published in 1884. Okay. It was in an issue of Cornhill Magazine. It was Cornhill. based on the real Mary Celeste. He just changed minor details and names like calling the ship the Marie Celeste. The story ended up uh. being so popular that to this day it corrupts historical documents about the real ship. Oh, damn. It, that does happen sometimes. People make fantastical stories. And then they actually do corrupt historical documents. Like how people's perception of, uh... Let's say... Uh, Christopher Columbus. Hmm. The U.S. Consul in Gibraltar, who had been present at Mary Celeste's hearings, would later make inquiries based on the story's facts. Okay. After Tex did some groundwork and things, he found out the big discrepancy. The cargo. Doyle's account puts the cargo value at $35,000, oh. which is worth more than the ship. That's insane! The alcohol was also going to be used to fortify wines, but that's not how this works. The real ship had 1,701 barrels of denatured alcohol, most okay. likely pyridine and methylate spirits. This wouldn't be how port and fortified wine were made. They would use a neutral grape spirit, most likely locally, not okay. from overseas. Not to mention that port was mainly a cocktail mixer in the Victorian era. Shipping booze across the Atlantic to make ratchet peasant wine would have been stupid and expensive. <laughs> yeah, it would have. So account saying the cargo is worth 35k and being used to fortify alcohol is wrong, and written by brainless. Uh, this eliminates most of the accounts of mutiny and aliens. So was Briggs eating Aliens? Well, why aliens? True, a sea monster? The most likely answer came out of years not saying it was aliens, but it was aliens. No, it was not aliens. Hello, I did the post and everything, by the way. Watching Deep Dive YouTube? Hello, Soren. I see you've been watching apparently furry YouTube. I wonder how that's been going. For those who don't know, Soren is a furry. A mouse furry now. He was originally a wolf, but now he's a mouse furry. Interesting. Was it aliens? Oh, it was not aliens. But the aliens convince you to become a mouse. Oh, that's what you're asking. The CL chemistry department built a replica of the Mary Celeste. Mm. He simulated a butane explosion from the cargo hold, which made a big fireball that left no signs of burning on the ship itself. Ah. This would explain why the ship was damaged, but showed no signs of burning due to a pressurized explosion. 
It explains everything being left behind and no entry in the captain's log. Because explosions at sea are scary. Yeah, when there's a giant explosion and a bunch of fire around, you usually run away. God damn it, Plenty. Oh, there, there once was, was a ship from but to say the name of the ship. Was a Plenty, I'm putting this on YouTube. What the hell is wrong? Down and go, my brother boy, go. Soon be the woman. No sugar and tea and rum. I had to cut that off. I, they can't hear you, Fable. Give me a go. I'm sure, Dad. I'm not letting it all fully go. No, they take on it and go. Okay, they can hear you again, Fable. Sorry, I can't let that full song play if this is going on YouTube. Buddy, oh, I'm man. gonna hit you. So why are there so weird theories? Because there's money to be uh, So bad news, Platy. My computer may not be able to handle Alden Ring no more. So I gotta play lesser games. Oh my god. Like I wanna hug the gator or, or some other game. It's horrible. It's horrifying even. The first mates. Okay, well to be honest it's not that bad, but to be honest, my computer has been kind of uh uh, freezing from time to time, and it's actually kind of scare me. So I think I might not try to put too much stress on it for a while till hopefully something better will happen. And and who knows? Maybe we'll do. Maybe I'll get lucky, and some lovely soul will help me finish the computer thingy. We'll see okay. what happens. But yeah, yeah, we'll I, see I what happens. I kind of don't want to stress it out too much. That's completely your fault, fault Platy. By the way. Completely yeah, we'll assault. Anyway, they're talking about something on the History Channel. That on the night of November 25th, no. She had a dream. No way. Yeah, they're doing the thing her, where they're doing like, well, maybe this happened. Emergency. Please stop. The new owners of the Mary Celeste then uh, took it to a reef off the coast of Haiti and tried to wreck it there for six insurance policies. They didn't get. They didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, insurance fraud goes a way back. Speaking of scams, the developers claim they didn't steal anything. It was <laughs> done by a mysterious person or entity that they outsourced. Well, guess what we're coming back to? Remember the Amiga demo? This hallway is the key. There's yeah. another Amiga game called Guy Spy, and people point out some striking similarities in this hallway. That's right. Oh. Even back then, they were ripping people off. This game wow. is legendary. So, let's move on to the final chapter. You mentioned something interesting. No. Cipher is what, what the fuck is that? New research. Oh my god, you're saying they're doing, they're, they're doing this joke. Piece. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Oh my god. <laughs> the Citadel. This is another short one made of Unreal maps, but I like it a lot more aesthetically. The original score, maybe the only thing not stolen, is also really oh good. Oh no. They're just worth. Well, not the entire channel, but I. The, right the one good thing is, if it does get the copyright thing, I can uh, remove a bit of it. Which means I should be fine. But yeah. With the right head on the wall, and you're good to go. Okay. Are they just gonna keep playing the same sound bite? Still, for the final level in this adventure, it seems like a letdown. It did seem rational at first. Great really lust, couldn't pride, to people to get this far. But then the true final challenge began. It's very dark down here. <gasps> oh. oh. That's what editing is for. Platy, I can't edit. I can only edit using the YouTube. Oh, I'm gonna smack your plat off you. Well, yeah, it is probably the worst game ever made. It possibly has stolen assets. From oh, no, not just possibly. It has a bunch of stolen assets in here. <laughs> and yeah, this game is completely awful. It's one of those click and point adventures where you have to use magic pixels, moon logic, and all the other worst stuff. So yeah, not great. What the hell? 
What is going on? Okay, I guess these are the four horsemen of the apocalypse or something. Wait, how are the four horses of the apocalypse? Bloody's not there. Oh my god. Bloody's not one of the horsemen of the apocalypse. We've been over this. He is in my heart. Well, not in mine. Time is of the essence. Oh yeah, well you're robots. Man. I'm not that a robot. Awesome build -up. Oh, this I is a time to get my old boy. Each that. head was and activate them in order of a panel. Yes, you do. Remember me, me, Chad. Remember me. No. Oh, so apparently they have to do timed puzzles now. Bye, everyone but Mechromind, remember me. No. That is a legitimately awesome build. I, I this is a specifically time excluded you, you monster. And activate them in order of a panel. Hmm. This is not a lenient time. <laughs> so we have to have to all this in order of a panel. Well. You're welcome, Flatty. I got all the symbols, but now there's letters. Looks like destiny. The timer keeps going, and you don't have time to screw around. Oh, You're wow. You're going to be at the bottom, so you need to get those letters in as fast as you can. Once you do, you've won it all. I'm saving the best ending for last. This oh, comes out. Fate is upset that destiny has beaten him, and so they opt in for a double or nothing. That's right. They were already teasing a secret. Why? You both know a lot of reasons why that's not going to happen. Yeah. For the same reasons, I would highly recommend checking it out or getting a copy. Unsurprisingly, there were a lot of I legal don't... issues after this game came out, so the retail boxes got pulled. At the time I of this wonder video, why. You can still find wrapped copies for fifteen to twenty U.S. dollars, but those won't last forever. This isn't getting a digital release or of an enhanced not. edition anytime soon. For all its problems, it's such a bizarre and funny experience that, for someone like me, I couldn't help but keep going. And nothing reflects its spirit better than the real ending. Okay. Thanks for watching. These videos are this increasingly is. harder to make due to scheduling issues, but I'm trying to do it when I can. At some point in the near future, I'll have a special showing of this game on Twitch. Same name as the YouTube one. If you stuck around this long, thanks again, and here's the perfect ending. Okay, what is this? see a thing. Oh. All the people we met on the way are here. What the hell? To this fable? I am. I don't understand. should I say? Yeah, we don't know either, Platy. It's just a really weird game. Yeah. I, I just think it's kind of funny, because uh, Mac wanted to use this to punish me, but I think he's the one suffering more than anything. No, I have covered my eyes. I can't even see anything, Fable. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, well, well, I, I have a, I have something. Yeah. I sing singing this. I keep singing it. This is insane. Would you agree, Fable? 
Also, I have no eyes. No, okay. You have no eyes? Oh, because you yeah. became a Snorlax, dear god. That feels yes. cheating, Fable. <laughs> Says the man with the blindfold on. <laughs> what the fuck are you guys playing? <laughs> <laughs> well then, I'm, uh, Mabel has no eyes but must scream. Hello, Rykoi, we are, uh... Mac, Mac wants me to play that game, I don't know why. Because it will be funny. Oh dear. Believe me. Hi, Rykoi, how is you? Huh? I hope you have a wonderful stream earlier. I know I couldn't be there for long. Work has been murdering me, and the middle manager, I think, hates me. Which is just wonderful. I work so hard, and yet, know it. Uh, anyway, besides me complaining about work, I all hope you're all having a wonderful night. You're just working right He's now. He's a PNG. Um, I haven't used in a long time. What the hell are you now? Are you a Digimon? I'm a slime. I look like a Digimon, but I promise you, I'm a slime. Fable is now a baby level Digimon. You know what? I'll use this if I ever play a Digimon game. It kind of fits. I have a game trailer y'all should check out. And what is this game trailer? I know Cars posted a video earlier. I have no idea what it was. Anyway, thank you all so much. And we'll see you later, I guess. This is going over on YouTube. So, like, comment, subscribe, I guess, if you want to see me suffer more.